Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be talking about how to use a performance analyzer to understand the report performance. Sometimes it happens that when we create the report, at that time we feel that report runs smoothly. However, the semantic model produces the report that has received negative feedback from the users. The users are happy with the result that they see in the report, but they are not satisfied with the report performance. Loading of the pages in the report is taking too long and tables are not refreshing quickly enough uh, when certain selections are made. Or sometimes the IT team has highlighted that the file size of this particular semantic model is too large and it is putting a strain on the resources. In this case, you need to optimize the performance of the report and for that, you need to understand that what are the things that are taking too long to upload the data. Now, a smaller size semantic model uses less resources and achieves faster data refresh calculation and therefore the performance optimization process involves minimizing the size of the semantic model and making the most efficient use of the data in the model. So for that, you need to ensure that the correct data types are used, deleting unnecessary columns and rows from the semantic model avoiding repeated values, replacing numeric columns with the measures, reducing relationships, and summarizing the data where it is possible. On top of that, there is a feature in Power BI, which is Performance Analyzer, where you can run the report and understand what are the bottlenecks and start working on those. Performance Analyzer help us to find out each of our report elements is how it's performing when user interacts with them. For example, you can determine how long it takes for a particular visual to refresh when it is initiated by a user interaction. Performance Analyzer will help you identify the elements that are contributing to the performance issues. When we use performance analyzer, we need to make sure that the visual cache and the data engine cache, they both should be clear to get the best results. To understand how performance analyzer works, let's open up the Power BI and understand. But before that, if you are first time here on my channel and you didn't subscribe my channel yet, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button as I upload the Power BI videos regularly on this channel. Let's get started. So here I am in Power BI and you can see I have a couple of tables in my data model. Now let's open a new page. On this page, we are going to use a two visual using a two different measures using a two different DAX functions and we'll test the performance. So for that, let's first create the measures. So right click on the sales table and the new measure. And once the formula bar opens, let's give a name is count sales orders and let's use word filter. So for this measure, we are going to use a filter function where for the next measure, we are going to use a keep filter function. So this is my measure name, which is going to use a filter function. So is equal to and then shift enter. I'm going to use a calculate function. So calculate and then I'm going to use a distinct count function to count the sales order number because it has a duplicate sales order number in that column. So distinct count and then in that sales table and column name is this sales order number and then Close the bracket for the distinct count, comma. And now for the calculate function filter, I'm going to use a filter function. So filter. Now filter function uses a table. So we need to give a table name, which is sales table, comma. And now filter expression is 
sales order quantity should be is equal to or greater than 5. So for that sales and order quantity, the sales quantity is greater than or equal to 5 and then close bracket for the filter function and then close bracket for the calculate function and enter. So now the measure is ready. We are going to copy this code by control C and we are going to use this code for the next measure where we will only replace a filter function with the keep filter function. And keep filter function is only looking for the expression. So expression is sales and then quantity greater than and is equal to 5 and close the bracket. So that is only change we made in previous measure code. So both measures are ready. Now let's use them on the matrix visual. And in this, let's resize it. I am going to use a reseller table and seller column. Let's use the sales order filter measure. Let's increase the font size so we can see it properly. Now let's copy this visual. So control C and then control V. So we can have a same visual. And let's put it side by side. And in this new visual, we are going to use keep filter measure and just uncheck the previous measure. So here you can confirm the title. So the one, uh, this matrix uses filter function measure and this matrix uses the keep filter function measure. And you can see the quantity of the sales, they are same on the both visuals. Now let's close the Power BI desktop and then reopen in few seconds. Let's close and save. So now I reopen the file so we can get the clear visual and data engine cache. Now let's straight away go to the view and click on this performance analyzer from the show panes. And now click on this start recording and then refresh the visuals and then stop now. Now it shows here two metrics visual refreshed and both shows some duration in milliseconds here. So we can see that we have this matrix showing up 1692 millisecond time and the other matrix shows 496 milliseconds time. If you expand it by using this plus sign here, on both matrix, you can see now the breakdown. So when you select the matrix, you can see that it select the visual as well. So this matrix is belongs to this visual. So let's close this pane so we can see here properly. And the currently my count sales order filter where we use a filter function, that matrix shows me that 1692 milliseconds it took, where my DEX query took 1292 milliseconds. And when I click on this matrix, it selects keep filter measure visual. And if I expand it, it shows my DEX query took 83 seconds. So let's understand that what, what it shows here. So you can see that visual display does not have that much difference compare like 188 milliseconds and 192 milliseconds. So, so they both are very similar. The other category also shows a similar time. However, the DEX query shows really huge difference. So this is the difference between two functions. So in this case, keep filter works same as the filter function, however, with the shorter formula and better performance. So 
Guys, this is all about how you can use a performance analyzer to understand the bottlenecks and you can improve the report performance. If you like the content of the video, then please comment, like, share and subscribe my channel. And thank you for watching.